Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on a Dollar Tree haul. I know it's so random, but I'm a single mom and I'm all about um, saving money where you can. I just thought it would be fun to share all the finds I got because I found a lot of good things for Gabe that I didn't even know were there. And um, I'm definitely gonna be going back to get some stocking stuffers for him for a dollar because they're so cute. Sorry about the crazy face. I wasn't gonna go put on makeup because this is just real in mom life, so. So let's um, jump right into this video and I'll show you everything I got for Gabe, for Christmas things, and for organization. Okay, so first things first is I got, um, in my Christmas video, I don't know if you guys saw my wreath on my back door going to my backyard. It um, needed some help. So the picks, I think they call them, I had on there from Michaels have fallen off between the years. I picked up some new picks at the Dollar Tree and so I was gonna add to it. And I was also gonna flock it. I think it is flocked a little bit, but not really, it's kind of confusing. Anyways, so I got two of each. Did that the wrong way. Two of each because I would have got more, but I was smart and I was thinking I would cut these. I'll either cut them in, see how they're like this? I'll either cut them into twos or no, I guess I can only cut them into one into like one piece because they're like that. And I'll make it look fuller. Um, versus just taking this whole entire thing and sticking it in there. I thought it would look a lot better um, cutting it individually and just spreading it out the way I want it. So that's why I got two of each instead of getting more. And they're like from the Dollar Tree so they'll be easy to cut. That's one thing I hate from anywhere else. It's like you need like those fancy dancy scissors, you know, I don't have those. So I got these cute silver ones. I know you guys, if you watched my tree decoration, I also got at the Dollar Tree that trip the white snowflakes and the silver ornaments, the balls, the sparkly ones, and then they had like a shiny white silvery one, so it went perfect. And I also got silver snowflakes. So these just fit. Okay, and then I got these. I wanted to put like the pine cones separate and then, you know, these separate. So, um, and maybe I should've got another one because there's not enough red, but I do have red already in there. So I'll just leave those. But yeah, only a dollar. So that's a good deal. And the ornaments you get like six snowflakes in each so that's awesome if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll link the video down below so you can take a look at the decorations on my tree it changes so the actual result of what my tree looks like right now is at the end of the video and then i got these cute little filler corner things you know so cute those were adorable they did have like a little penguin one too. I should have got it because now I have like an uneven amount. It's driving me crazy. Little boot. This one does sit weird. I don't know if it's a weird one I got or if they're all like that, just so you know. And then a little snowman. Next, my signs I got for Christmas. My little cat is just like staring right here. You're so cute, Theodore. I'll actually start with this. So I got this cute tree. I was gonna put this in Gabe's room. I haven't got there yet. <laughs> I was gonna put like multicolored lights on it because they had 20 light boxes there at the Dollar Tree, but I had lights. I knew I did multicolored ones in a box. Should have just got the 20 light one because it's a small tree and those lights didn't even end up working. So I don't know. I think this is honestly cute though, just white. And like, I got these at the Dollar Tree too, sparkly white little ornaments. 
I think it looks cute with like all of these filled on it once I get there. <laughs> um, but I was going to put it with like multicolored lights and then these like ornaments and put it in his room. I thought that'd be cute for nighttime. Maybe when I go back to get those lights, I can just grab another tree and put it in his room. I don't know, but this is really cute for like little like on consoles or a corner area because um, it's just like a really short tree. It looks a little crazy because Gabriel keeps knocking it over and hitting the animals with it. So it needs a little sprucing up again, but it's okay. These poor animals. Now that he's like getting older, he just like thinks it's really funny to attack them. So yeah. So onto their signs. They I got this one. I love this one. So cute. All this one and this reindeer I'm gonna show you come in red, silver, and gold. This one went I put in my living room, like right over there. And it's just so cute. I love it. It looks really good against like a white wall too because it just makes the letters pop even more and then I got a reindeer I'm gonna put this one in my room because I wanted to decorate my room because I never decorated my room before and and you know all these people get like new covers duvet covers for Christmas time I can't do that so I'm just gonna match decorations with what I have which will be silver and gold um, so this is really cute. I'm going to put this in my bathroom. And then I got these two signs. They were like the least cheap looking to me. Um, they're still cheap. I have got one of their signs before for fall. I will say if you put them outside, they do fade. So they're kind of more indoor signs. Do they say that? I feel really dumb if they said that, but they don't. So that's good. Um, so I just thought maybe I'd put it down the hallway as like little spots that I don't want to spend $10 on decorations for. So these are really cute. Last of my Christmas stuff I got there was these cute little bins for um, baking cookies or any kind of like Christmas baking um, for your neighbor. I was thinking of baking Christmas cookies for my neighbor who have like the same dog as I do. They have two Rottweilers. I just thought I would bake them some Christmas cookies and put this in their front door or if they're there. It so like a little top. So I got two of them. Um, so I'll give one to my neighbor and family. I just thought they were really cute. It's because they had red and green. They also had two other ones. So it was like a blue one and then just an all red one. I don't know what the designs were, but. And then for Gabe, um, so I always get him like like little cars at the Dollar Tree. So this came with another car. I don't know where it is, but it was like red. They're very plasticky, just so you know. But um, for a dollar, he goes like, <gasps> he, he like gets really excited. He loves cars. So um, we always get him these. They're really cute. And these dinosaurs, oh my god, so cute. I got him four. It came in, well, it didn't come in. I grabbed four. They're each a dollar, obviously. But I got orange, yellow, teal, and purple. Flex ate two of them. So I'm going to have to get two more. Um, but they're so cute for, like, stocking stuffers. Obviously, I already gave them to him. Um, but I just think they're adorable. These are so much better than these because these are so dark and which are fine, you know, but, um, hello. Do you see these little horns? <laughs> I've hurt myself with these. Gabe has hurt him. Gabe has sat on these. Um, like these are dangerous. I know it's just this, whatever kind of dinosaur this is, but they're hard. They're like really hard. These are hard too, but they're like a little bit squishy. You can like actually get some squish to it. Um, and they had like a ton of these, like different colors. And like they're so colorful. 
I've never seen any colorful dinosaurs before and these were like four for $13 I got at Costco and he's played with these more than he has ever with these. They also have like safari animals. Like they just had some good little figurine animals like this. So good stocking stuffers. I'm definitely gonna go back there for Christmas stuff. Um, they had like Play-Doh, just insane. I also got this, like for arts and crafts, like a rainy day. They had a ton of stuff like this. And it comes with the markers. You know, Gabe's still at the age where he's gonna try and eat those. But, you know, that's why I have to watch him. We already tried the first one. Obviously, that's as far as we got before he tried to eat the marker. Every, everywhere else, it'd be like four bucks, I feel like, for this and you wouldn't even get the markers, or you would and it would be more, I don't know. Just like everything's so expensive, but the Dollar Tree has something so simple, you know? This I had to grab because it's like one of his favorites. It's a, um, what is, what is that, what is that called? Bubble machine, they bl it blows bubbles, and it's a cute little hippo, and it was a freaking dollar. <laughs> It's so cute. It like just spits it out of his mouth. You put it in like this little well, his mouth there and you turn it on. A dollar, a freaking dollar for this. They also had a frog. I think I'm gonna get him that too and put it in his stocking. That needs two AA batteries. Then next is stuff I got for organization. So I got bins. I got four of them because I have woven baskets underneath my bathroom sink. I have two sinks, so I think I have two of the woven baskets in there. And, um, or I think I have one. I'm using the other one somewhere else. But they're nice baskets, and I can't see them. So I'd rather have them somewhere where I can see them. Um, so I just got these. And I got white because all the other ones are, like, really obnoxious colors. These are good because... You know, you're not going to get sick of the color or whatever or want to trade it out. Um, that's why I believe, like, think about that when you're in there if you do get something like this because having then, like, a bunch of random colors is going to make you feel, like, unorganized in some way. At least to me it does. So I just got white. And then I got these clear, like, ceramic organizing things for my, like, toothbrush area thing. Gabe just woke up, so I gotta go hurry up and get him or he's gonna fall back asleep. I don't know, so I gotta finish this video. Um, so they have like three little sections, put like, you know, your floss, hair ties. I got two of those. And then I got this little ceramic thing as well. I like these because you can see through them. So I hate things that are like closed off, except for like these, you know? Where you can put like tall products, you know, like extra hair, like shampoo, conditioner. These are nice for like smaller items, makeup, all that stuff. So I know that was a random video, but um, maybe you guys saw something that you liked. Um, I gave you an idea for like gifts or that like I let you know that they have some good um, toys at the dollar tree in the kids section or just for you to realize that yeah maybe going to the dollar tree is a good idea for some stocking stuffers instead of spending a fortune somewhere else um because that stuff can add up so i know it was a random video but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up if you're new please subscribe um it means the world to me i really appreciate it i'm working really hard to try and get a thousand subscribers um, I just got 40, so, you know, I got a long ways to go, but I'm so um, encouraged and positive that I'm going to get there because I have no other mindset but that, and that will get you there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I hope it inspired you to hit up your Dollar Tree um, for your kids, you, your home, organize you know that they do have organizing things and bins i will have a video too on me organizing under my sink with the bins i got from the dollar tree so 
want to wait for that video or go check out your Dollar Tree and grab some bins because I will have a video coming out soon on that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. By the sounds I'm breathing in.